Hello everybody, Alex here with Snake on Exotics and um, well, it's delivery day so we've got a little delivery to go through we've had some invertebrates come so I'll show you them if anything good in the boxes I'll show you that as well I think today's main aim is going to be leopard geckos, care, um, facts we didn't know about them and other subspecies and all stuff like that, all cool little facts we didn't know about leopard geckos so um, I think that'd be really cool for today because I don't really say many facts about the animal. I do a lot about the care, but I don't really tell you much about the animals. So I'm going to change it a little bit today. We're going to tell you more about the facts of the animal, where it comes from, and all stuff like that. So we're, we're dig into that today, show you some animals, show you some insects, show you some nice stuff I get delivered, and we're going to give you a load of facts. So I uh, hope you enjoyed the video today. Please like, subscribe, comment and share for me, and I shall see you in a bit. So the delivery driver was clean this, clean this morning, he dropped everything at Manjit's. So I've got here this morning, Manjit's, come here buddy, all your stuff's at mine. So I've had to run down and grab it all. So we've got live food, we've got some invertebrates. I've already put the frozen away because we can't wait around for frozen. Frozen's got to go straight in the fridge. Uh, and I've got some bits and bobs that we can go through as well. But I want to do, main thing today I think is going to be gecko facts and and learning more about geckos and all the other stuff we didn't usually know about geckos that I've been um, doing my research and learning some stuff more about them so I thought I'd pass on the stuff I've learned on to you and um, we can go from there and we can learn some different facts we didn't know about leopard geckos so uh, I'll get all this laid out, if there's anything good I'll show you and then, uh, and then we'll crack on with the, uh, with the facts so first fact there are seven different subspecies of leopard geckos so from different places in the world we're getting leopard geckos so they're, they're still leopard geckos but they're slightly different variances and more well not morphs but it's subspecies so they've they live further enough away <coughs> that they're they're slightly different but they're still close enough to be a leopard gecko so um, with their six different um, subspecies so um, we'll go through, have a look at each individual one. We'll tell you about them while they're different from our common one. And then um, we'll, we'll have a look and we'll have a look at the pictures and enjoy one of them and have a look and see what it's like. So uh, I'll have it all pop up on the screen for you so you can see it and all that. So um, you might not see me, but you'll hear my, my voice. So uh, hopefully you enjoy it. A little slightly different video, but we'll have facts, me popping in, telling you stuff. And um, we'll have the stuff on the screen telling you. So uh, hope you enjoy the video, and I'll crack on, and I'll start getting all stuff popping up on the screen. So I'm going to try my best with the scientific names, but I am going to struggle because I'm dyslexic, so I do struggle a little bit with the reading. But I'm going to try my best <coughs> with all the uh, with all the big scientific names, all the Latin and all that. But we'll <coughs> we'll start with the um, normal leopard geckos, the commons. So they are from Pakistan, they are from Afghanistan, they are from Northern India. Um, so the, the, the colour morphs we get nowadays are more than what's out there. It's easy to get them ones. But the more natural, wild colours and markings are very hard to get now and very sought after. Um, so we can show that we've... In, back in the day we went in there and we took quite a lot out of the wild. And then, and then bred, bred them and made morphs and stuff like that. And um, I don't know how it worked with repopulating the wild. I don't know if they put our ones back in with the morphs, but they said it's, it's really hard now to find the natural wild ones with the natural colours, because ours have, have spread into it somehow. I don't know how that works, but they, um, apparently we're losing the, the normal markings. So um, we go on to the, we do a little more, couple more facts and we'll have a crack on to the next one. Most of the common leopard geckos we get at the moment are um, mostly related. So they are quite far removed from the, the wild ones we've got now. Um, hypos are quite close to the, the size and the um, attributes of the, the common wild ones. Um, but a lot of the species we have now that are, that are like the morphs, they're a lot smaller and a lot daintier than the wild ones are. That's because they're breeding, um, they're breeding siblings to siblings and stuff like that to get the colour morphs and stuff like that. So that's why we're not as established and not as stocky and not as well built 
and as hardy as the uh, the common more um, the common natural wild one. As you see in the photo, got a very deep deep neck, deep throat. Um, head markings are usually quite common most so still the standard dotting markings with the yellows and the uh, and the mixed markings on the tail um, but yeah head shape is a bit more different on this one a bit more stocky um, and a bit more you've got the big big um, throat uh, I can't remember what it's called now uh, but the big throat sag um, but yeah so we'll uh, we move on now to the Montana slepper gecko which is a mountainous version of the leopard geckos. So the mountain leopard geckos are only from Pakistan. That's the only place you can find the Montanus leopard geckos. So they um they must like that little area. Oh, it'd be cool to go up there and look for some wouldn't it? I mean that's to be one of my main aims to go to somewhere wild and look for wild leopard geckos. So um <clears throat> I can't say the Latin so I'll put the Latin up above for but for all I think that's what I'm gonna do now. If I've got the Latin the Latin's gonna go above in the writing, because I can't say it, got no chance of me saying it. I can barely say the English, <laughs> let alone the Latin. So, um, we'll, uh, Montanus mountainous ones are very common in the in the in the pet trade. Um, I've bought them before from um, different suppliers and stuff like that. They're a lot more lighter, as you can see in the photo. They're a lot more lighter. They've got the the black dark black markings, um, but they're a lot lighter in their initial colours which uh, I actually quite like them very much. Um, oh, so um, they've been, my suppliers, they've had them for I mean, about 10, 15 years now, they've been breeding them. Um, so they've got a good solid supply of them. I think there's gonna be some in next year, they've got some more coming, some more breeding. Um, so that'd be nice for next year. So they do tend to carry the markings of the common leopard geckos. So they've got the black dots and all that, all scattered across their backs. Um, but they are a lot stronger and a lot more stockier than the, the common leopard geckos. It must, be, it must be just the way they are living up in the mountains. They're a bit hardier, a bit tougher because they're up in the mountains. Um, but yeah, they still carry a lot of the normal colours, but they're a lot more stockier and a lot more beefier. Also, they can't get the crypts. I'm going to have to try and read it because I can't pronounce it. Um, just get me little notes I've written in. Where do I put it now? Oh yeah, Crytosoporidia virus. I'll put it up on the page. So um, the Montanus don't get this disease as easily as the commons do. So it's a nice little thing to put towards them that they don't catch this disease like the commons ones do. I'll put the word above the screen because I just can't say it. I'm so sorry, I'm just, I can't read it and I can't say it either. So uh, I'm trying my best. But Sometimes the dyslexic uh, just holds you back a tiny bit. So we move on to the next the next um, subspecies. Uh, this one doesn't have a common name, but I'm going to try and read its Latin, but just don't laugh at me too much. Um, so it's Espalash Harris, E. Alba Harris, Mac Maclararius Fascolatus tried my best. So um, <clears throat> these leopard geckos range from Pakistan again. They are very, very rare, these ones are. They're really hard to get. They are a lot like the Montanus, so they're a lot lighter in their colour, but they carry a bit more of the yellow. Um, they are considerably larger than any other leopard geckos. <clears throat> oh, they're... Um, they're really hard to get at the moment, and there is only one known group in the UK um, which is breeding that I know of. Um, so they they had them come in two years ago. They bred some last year, and then this year their plan is to release some into the trade. So um, you never know. This year we might be able to get some, and hopefully they'll probably pick up a common name once they become a bit more commonly well known. But at the moment, they're really rare. There's not any for sale in the UK because there's, there's only one person breeding them. So, um, really hard to get, really sought after, really, quite a large gecko. Um, quite similar in the looks to the, the uh, it's almost like a half common, half Montanus in the color markings. This is a good example for you. So, uh, we're we'll move on to the next one. This one is known as the uh, Afghan leopard gecko. 
So um, it's from eastern Afghanistan and northern Pakistan. So um, quite a large range. Um, but I'll um, think the, um, they're, they're a lot darker in the markings than the, uh, any other ones we've looked at so far. You can see they've got a lot more of the brown in the face and the yellow's a bit more back and not the dominant. I think the brown's coming a lot more dominant in these ones. These ones are extremely rare. There is none in the trade at the moment and there is none for sale. So um, they, they do have some at one of my suppliers. Um, so the, 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 again, the only ones known in the UK and um, I know they're not going to be breed. They are not going to be releasing any for at least two more years because they want to get a better breeding colony for themselves. So very rare gecko, very very rare. I'd be very surprised if I ever get my hands on any, but you never know. We might do, uh, but it'd probably be a couple of years yet because I, there's only, again only one person in the UK who's got them, uh, and only one person breeding them, and they're a year behind the other leopard geckos they had. So um, they need to get. So they usually have an, a pair, breed them hold them back a year, raise them up, oh, they raise up the adults, um, breed them, raise up the babies, breed them, and then they've got a little Connolly go in there that they keep to, keep for themselves. So, um, lovely gecko, a nice, very dark, dark gecko. Um, more like the um, electric tangerine I've got at home, the big, the big male I've got, how he's, he's, um, he's got the big black dots, um, sort of like that, but his docks, it's almost like he's, he's got the brown merging around some of the yellow dots that they're on that species. So uh, I'll show you on the photo so you can have a better look. Um, and then uh, we'll crack on for the next gecko. The last three are my favourite. They are stunning, especially the last one. I've left the last one for, for the best till last? Yeah, I've left the best till last because, oh my god, oh my god, just wait till you see it. Oh my god. Imagine. Gollum as a leopard gecko. That's how I see it. It looks like Gollum if Gollum was a leopard gecko. So um, this this one here now is the West Indian leopard gecko. Ooh, look at the colours on it. Oh, she's a pretty girl. So it's from as you tell by the name, Western India. Well, West India. Uh, these ones have a very smooth, velvety skin. It's almost like a cross between a fat-tailed leopard, fat-tailed gecko, and a leopard gecko in the skin type. These ones are really, really hard to get. They are in the country and they are breeding them, but people only sell females. So the females only produce a couple of eggs and the males will go around and service as many females as you've got. So <clears throat> and if you ain't got a, so it keeps the prices high and the supply low. So if you've got loads, there's loads of males and loads of females, you can make loads of babies, but if there's just loads of females about and there's no males, you can't make any babies, can you? So it keeps, so they're expensive because you're buying a female that can make more, but it keeps the supply low because it's hard to get a male. They're clever, aren't they? We'll be able to get some of these towards the end of the year, I think, off the top of my head, maybe next year. Also, a really, really nice gecko, also from India, but these are from Eastern India. Slightly, India's massive, so. Slightly other end of India. Uh, <coughs> they are lovely markings. It's almost a mix between the wild and the um, the West Indian uh, in the in the colour markings. It's got a bit more of the yellow in it compared to any of the other ones we've been looking at. So a really really rough skinned gecko, and they are they're even closely related to um, the fat tails. Well, they may not be closely related, but they, they really 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 look like them. So um, that's sort of a reason why a bit more sought after, a bit more harder to get. Should be able to get some this year, but in very small numbers. Maybe next year in a lot bigger numbers. Uh, but again, again, another nice gecko that coming I mean, out a couple of weeks ago. I didn't even know these were about. Um, but yeah, a couple more nice little facts for you for the uh, on the geckos, and we've got the best for last. This, oh my god, it's such a stunning leopard gecko, oh my god. So it is the Iranian leopard gecko, it's from Iran, Iraq, Syria, and uh, and Turkey. Oh, I think I'm going to Turkey. Well, well it's the only place I can go with a shot where I feel safe going. <laughs> Sorry, but it's true. I'm only going to Turkey out of all of them. Uh, <laughs> but, um, but yeah, definitely... That'd be such a cool thing. Go Turkey searching for this. How cool do they look? Oh my god, they are so cool. 
Um, but yeah, we'll, uh, I'll, uh, I'll tell you more about them now. What makes these best as well? They're the biggest leopard gecko you can get. So they make the, um, in the morphs we get, we can get super giants. Super giants would almost be like as big as my hand and probably coming down to, oh, that didn't work, did it? To about there. Mm, about there. <laughs> Tip of my thumb, all the way down to about there. So they're, they're big geckos. These ones put them to shame. They're about, um, about 12 inches. So that's a big gecko, that is. Massive, massive. To be fair, that's huge. Absolutely huge leopard gecko, that is. And even their babies hatch three times bigger than leopard gecko eggs hatch when they hatch. That's ridiculous. So you've got a leopard gecko, you'd say maybe something like that when it's born. You're talking something like, like, a, like a juvenile leopard gecko is what comes out of their eggs. That is ridiculous. Absolutely ridiculous. Oh, mate, I want some of these. I need some of these really bad. Um, oh, my God, they're stunning. Fingers crossed, the next couple of months, I may be able to get some. It may take a year or two. But, uh, well, yeah, I am keeping my eye out for some Iranian leopard geckos, 100%. Or we're going to have to go to Turkey and get some. Skip the middle, man. Straight to Turkey. In the, in the bushes. Get myself some gecko. <laughs> I don't think that's how it works, but especially not with the virus going around. Um, so yeah, that's six new, uh, six or five, six morphs, five we didn't know about, or may not have known about. So um, I hope you've enjoyed that little bit of information for you, some facts and all that stuff. So um, I'll, uh, I'll keep you in the loop with anything else, and um, we'll see if there's anything else we can do today. But I think that's probably going to be it for the rest of the day. Hello everybody. Well, um, that's another day done. I hope you liked it. A little bit different today, I promise so it's uh, almost lepo gecko and chill sort of thing. So uh, I thought, you know what I mean? I don't really go a bit as in depth as I, as I should, I don't think. So I think a bit more information is to be a bit more, a bit more nice to have. So, so I mean, maybe or maybe I'll do some videos like this where it's all information, or I'll just spread it across the other videos. I'm not sure yet. I haven't decided, but I thought I'll try a little bit of a change of video today more of me talking to you, explaining stuff and stuff like that. Uh, we did have the delivery as well, so we had a little bit of shop life and what's going on. So I uh, hope you liked the video. I hope you enjoyed and learning about all the different gecko subspecies. Um, but yeah, please like, subscribe, comment and share for me. And um, if you want to watch another video, there should be a box there. And if you want to watch a playlist, it should be up there. And if you want to subscribe to the channel, it should be up there. Uh, thank you very much for everybody who's watching and uh, I'll see you in the future. Bye.